Greetings, Algebra. I'm back with my next example. Here's our equation. We're going to solve for x. Again, we are undoing operations. You'll remember from the past, sometimes we had some equations that had an x squared term and an x term. If that's the case, we can't solve it this way. But when we only have a squared variable and no other variables, just undo everything. Isolate the variable. So again, we're going to undo order of operations. The first thing we're going to do is add or subtract something to the other side. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides. After we subtract 5 from both sides, we've got negative 2x squared equals negative 18. Now we're going to multiply or divide to get our variable by itself. It's negative 2 times x squared, so we divide both sides by negative 2. Now we're going to be left with x squared equals 9. Now, how did we get rid of the x squared, or how did we get rid of that exponent in the last example? Well, we are solving by taking square roots. Take the square root of the left side, take the square root of the right side. The square root of 9 is 3 or negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. If we plug negative 3 back in, negative 3 squared is 9. 3 squared is 9. Those are our two answers. All right, here's the example that I need you guys to do for your assignment. Solve for x. Four x squared minus 10 equals six. Solve that by taking square roots. 